I say, uh, you too. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. If this your first time rocking with the bomb, <laughs> I'd be the K-I-N-G S-P-R double three. That'd be me, King Spree. You locked in with the real estate, tell me. Reporting live from Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. The weather about 64 degrees outside. A couple clouds in the sky, nevertheless, praise to the most high. And baby, you've been waiting for that mixtape to drop. And I promise it's coming soon. And you're going to love it. So, we got a situation on our hands. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. And his uh, anti, anti talks. We'll leave it at that. I don't want to say any trigger words. Anti talks or anti um, post he put up against uh, the Jewish culture. I didn't want to make this video because I'm thinking like, man, I don't want to seem like I'm going against what they're saying. We don't condone hate speech because it's, it's whack. I mean, as a black man and as black people, we know that there's a lot of times where we get whether outright overt racism or systemic meaning that it's it's embedded within the system as a whole and you would have to kind of like if you know you know kind of racism right so we don't condone or i don't condone any of that at all but the drastic measures they're going through to make this him come back to the nba are a little ridiculous and it's showing uh, what they're trying to do is, and this is a sensitive topic, so I try to be easy with it. What they're trying to do is they're making an example of him. There's a list out there. You can Google it. Kyrie, uh, Brooklyn Nets, demands of Kyrie Irving or, or whatever it's called. And you'll see basically six things put in place that have to do with one, giving up some of his money. So I guess you treat it, treat it like a fine. Two, a bunch of like, uh, almost like, like um, um, rehabilitation type things. And some of them I understand, but some of them are just like, once again, so that he can be made an example of. Yes, he should probably get an education on, on I guess, I guess the Jewish religion and, and culture. But the video that he put up wasn't wrong. Yes, it's it's wrong, meaning like when they started talking about um, hate speech towards the Jewish culture and religion, that's wrong. That's wrong. But as far as the overall premise that blacks or, or Africans were the original Jewish people, I mean, do your research. I think a lot of times we forget that most things, not most, all things started in Africa. And if you do your research, yeah, the first, the first Jewish people were indeed dark skin. My, my color. Like a lot of stories that are told in the Bible, we forget that a lot of this stuff took place in Africa. So, and I'm not a religious dude, but I'm just saying like so many things can't you can't be can't be denied, right? So what I'm saying is is like I feel like they're trying to make an example out of him. And to be honest, a man with his pride level, he got a, he got a, a lot of money on the line. He in a contract year, and nobody gonna take care of himself and his family but him. He's losing a lot of opportunities, so I I don't see a world where he's gonna not do what they require. But I wouldn't I wouldn't have been mad at him if he retired, because it's just like you really doing a lot, man. As far as the NBA and 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 the Brooklyn Nets and and and, and the powers to be, and you know if you watch any like um if you watch any like slave movies or anything like that, and I don't I don't tend to watch. Uh, movies that are slave driven because of just it, the mental toll it takes on me to know that I, my family, my lineage, my 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 ancestors, my pred they, that they went through that so that I could be um, free. It's it's hard to see. It's hard to see in real time. So I, you know it exists, but it's hard to see. But for the for the few that I've come across, clips or whatever, Glory being one of them. Um, you start to realize that what they do is they will take the biggest, baddest, whoever that might be, the biggest, baddest, um, you know, N-word. I'm not saying N-word, but they, they would say that. And they'll make an example out of them. And that example would not just be 
beatings in front of the community, in front of the, the, the slave community, it would also be like, 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 like sexual abuse to let you know that this person that y'all thought of the biggest and baddest is not. That I run it. And the toll it takes on us is, is ridiculous. I know like coming up, for example, uh, I'm trying to go off, I'm going off a little bit of a tangent, but coming up, for example, like the, the beatings I used to get would be considered abuse. And I don't mean like just with a belt, like it would be considered abuse, but that's what our parents had um, experienced. And that's what their parents had experienced and literally was passed down from slave times. And those original beatings were because of the slave masters doing it to us. I'm not a I'm not an overly political dude and I'm not an overly like righteous dude, but what they're doing to Kyrie Irving right now is an example. They're making an example out of him so that nobody else gets in line and or gets out of line. And I'm very disappointed in I understand it's a money play. And I understand you gotta protect your money at all times. And but some things are worth more than money. And yeah, easy for me to say, right? But we know LeBron's trying to get a basketball team, and that requires a couple billy. We know other guys like Shaq and Charles, they got different things where they're trying to, you know, keep their money. But man, I'm very disappointed that we are all going against Kyrie like that. Bruh, the more you know, the more you know. And we've been built in a society, especially in the U.S., where they've hid and outright denied in some cases all the, the things that we've did to build the community. Literally, us as the black people have built um, 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 this economy built the, 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 the country literally in a literal sense fought for wars in a country that we wasn't even free in we've done all those things and they try to deny it they try to hide it they, try, they don't teach it you might get a you might get a quick lecture about Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and they barely talk about Malcolm X you might get a Rosa Parks uh, uh, PowerPoint but for the most part Booker T. Washington, you, but for the most part you're not going to get the ins and outs of what we really did for the community really did for this nation against our will but we still did it and this is another example of just somebody unfortunately not somebody but the powers to be which most people do believe that the jewish community are the powers to be right um the powers to be like really i guess trying to like show us the consequences of, of our actions or whatever and it's just tough man I don't agree with hate speech, as I said earlier in the video, but I also don't agree with how much he has to do to, to show that he's sorry for what he did. And, and to be honest, he didn't really do nothing other than post a, a video. Yes, that video has some stuff on it, but as they said before, and as I'm going to reiterate, so, but it's on a platform. It's on Amazon. They, if they don't have it, so if Amazon's selling it to you, does Jeff Bezos need to be now responsible for, because there's anti, um, there's anti, talk in there should he know that because that's the same thing that Kyrie is doing he's just posting something if he doesn't know it he should know it they both should know it but who really knows every ins and out of what they post he probably saw enough to agree with what was going on and didn't see the rest or or heard that it was that kind of video and didn't see the rest how many times do we post something not knowing the full scope of what's going on who really researches every little thing now, we're not saying it's right. You got to be responsible, held responsible for your actions and you got to deal with the consequences. That is true. But if, when the consequences are, you got to basically crawl, crawl on your knees back to us saying you're sorry. It's like, come on, man. And we know what it is, man. They're not really, it's not a thing about, it's not really a thing about, about apologizing and being sorry. It's making an example of somebody. And for lack of a better term, that's whack. That's whack, man. And people are scared to talk about it. This, bro, I tell you right now, this topic is crazy. And then when people speak about like, like anything, uh, woman or feminine re related, it's crazy too. Where it's like, those are like the trigger terms. Those are like the big trigger terms that everybody looks at and is like, okay, we're not gonna say this. We're not gonna say that. We gotta walk on pins and needles. People are scared to just talk. Once again, we shouldn't be hating anybody, but you shouldn't be scared to talk, man. Like if you got something to say that is that is informative and and, is, and is, is respectful, you should be able to say it. And especially when that thing you're trying to say is the is the truth. They're trying to keep us from the truth. That's a fact. They're trying to keep us from the truth. They want us to be as dumb as possible to just fall in line with whatever programming they have. Man, the older you get, 
when you give a when you give a f to try to like research it you start realizing like man not only has our whole history been buried but also they're only putting us in positions to to basically work for them and by them i don't just mean jewish culture i mean whoever the the, the power to be is period they're only putting us in positions to work for them but they don't want you to work for yourself they don't want you to be your own business owner they don't want you to um think for self that's why this man now now that i'm older bruh you don't even need you all you need is like up to 10th grade maybe graduate high school as far as like formal education you don't need no more than that you don't need to go to school to be a doctor yep unless you want to do those things which some people do you don't need to go to school for those things because at the end of the day getting all your masters and bachelors and all that bs all you're doing is taking out more student loans and learning how to work for somebody that's it and if what you want to do is work for somebody no problem not everybody's an entrepreneur right neither am i at least not yet but as far as like the, the thinking of clocking in at a certain time you want to get to one week vacation you got you work you work five days to get two off uh you get paid every two weeks um you got to do this you got to do that you got to do that it's like come on man are they our parents when are we going to be free thinkers for ourselves and the answer is i don't know i don't have the answers but i know this 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 don't feel right this don't feel right it don't feel right it don't feel right the system is broken and the couple of people that think out of the box they get lashes they get proverbial lashes and it's it's, it's unfortunate and I don't know. I don't know how we get out of it. I don't know how we get better. I don't know how we, what the next step is. I know for me, I'm going to do my due diligence to really dive into the culture and who I am and what we are as, as African-Americans and learn my history the best I can so I can be in, informed. I'm not a rebel. I'm not going to be going out of my way to, to like prove a point because then you get labeled as the angry black guy. So I'm not going to do that. But the more you know, the more you know. And you should know. Anyway, this has been a message brought to you by the good people over here at Spree, ENT. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Man, I don't know where the channel's going to go, but we got some new subscribers, almost at 130. Thank you for each and every one of y'all. Please leave a like on the video. Comment below. Y'all don't got to put too many comments down. Y'all ain't got to put too many words down. Y'all let me know if y'all if y'all agreeing with the punishment, Kyrie. Um, do y'all feel like it's right and it's, it's justified? Or do y'all feel like it's a little too much? In my opinion, I think it's a little too much. Like the video, comment below, share if you feel like sharing, and um, it's going to all make sense real soon.